Hey traders, David Frost, LazyGapTrader.com. In this video, we're talking about day trading. More specifically, we're talking about gap trading and how gap trading is by far the single most consistent and profitable day trading strategy you're going to find across the markets today. I do a couple of things. The first one is I teach a course where traders learn two specific gap trading strategies. The first one is known as the morning gap trades. This is where stocks that are gapping higher or lower at the open, generally from either an earnings announcement or some other related news event. When these stocks gap higher or lower at the open, it creates an opportunity for traders. And the opportunity for traders is when they can identify a specific price where these stocks will first be drawn to like a magnet and then have a price reaction from in the other direction. In the course, traders learn the specific criteria we're looking for. Which stocks does this work the best with? How much of a gap higher or lower are we looking for? What type of volume on these stocks are we looking for? And most importantly, how do you calculate these specific price levels where the stocks will first be drawn to and then have a price reaction in the other direction. You're looking at one of the gap trades on the screen in Marvel Technology. We're going to pick apart this chart in detail in a minute, but first I want to explain the other thing I do, which is give traders an opportunity to see my gap trades each and every day sent to them at 9 o'clock in the morning Eastern Standard Time, 30 minutes before the markets even opened for business. Here's a copy of the email that went out this morning. As you can see, 9 o'clock a.m., and that's Eastern Standard Time. Now, this morning, we had five possible gap trades on the board. Not all the stocks that I identify each and every morning are going to hit their specific price levels, but that's the key to this strategy. We're only interested in taking the trades that have the highest probability of success. What I mean by that is, when we come up with a specific price level where a stock should be drawn to and then have a price reaction from in the other direction, that's a high probability trade. If a stock does not trade to the level that we calculate, the price level that we calculate, it's not high probability, it's off the board, it's a no trade until and unless it gets to our specific price level. We have to wait for stocks to come to us. That's what creates profitable trades. That's what creates profitable day traders. So this morning, we had one that came close. Henry Schein came close. It didn't hit the level. However, Marvel did. M-R-V-L. I say gap higher. Resistance levels are $20.66. 2257 and 2448. Each of these price levels represent a separate possible trade. If a stock comes into the first price level, we're expecting a price reaction in the other direction. After that trade is over, if the stock should continue to the next price level, it's another possible trade, another price reaction in the other direction. Stop and profit target is about 20 to 35 cents. These are minimum profit targets. I'm going to explain that further. First, let's go back to the charts and see exactly what happened with MRVL this morning. We're on a five-minute chart, and as you can see, the stock closed the prior trading day, which was Friday, at $18.51, all the way down here. The stock was gapping higher at the open, creating the type of opportunity that we're looking for. The price level given out early this morning was $20.66. The stock opened higher and traded higher, and in the first five-minute candle of the day, came right into the level. It did pierce through by a little bit, going all the way up to 21, even piercing through 21 a little bit. That'll happen sometimes on the short trade opportunities because you get that panic buying at the open, which is also known as short covering. But still yet again, this $20.66 price level, which was calculated before the market even opened, was going to be solid resistance. And once the stock settled out, you can see how it came right back in below that level. What's important to note about this strategy is when traders learn and understand why this strategy works, how we calculate these price levels gives traders an understanding of the why. The why is important because once traders understand why these price levels are going to either be supportive 
or resistant to a market or a stock, it gives them an added confidence when placing these trades because they understand why certain stocks should have a price reaction at these specific price levels. And that's exactly what we saw here today with Marvel. Once Marvel started to come back in, you can see here within the first half hour of the day, the stock already made a low of $19.96. That's a tremendous gain for a scalp trade. And in my course, what traders learn is how to take a two-prong approach with these trades. I teach traders how to take a minimum profit at the minimum profit target and let the rest ride so that they can squeeze as much profit as possible out of these trades while turning them into risk-free, emotionless trades. There's a whole video module in the course that teaches this specific trading strategy. Traders, this is a strategy that you can use each and every day for the rest of your trading career. All the price levels that you see me put out in my morning emails, traders that have taken my course are able to calculate the exact same price levels for themselves once they've taken the course and gain an understanding of how to calculate these levels and more importantly, why this works. If you want to learn everything there is to know about trading the morning gaps, then come over to Lazy Gap Trader, check out the course, and learn this strategy that you can use for the rest of your trading career. I'm David Frost, Lazy Gap Trader. Thanks for tuning in, folks.